Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope we are well. Uh, as previously mentioned in my feelings in my feelings and favourites, that is my previous upload. I'm wearing the same clothes, so just churning them out one after the other. I spoke about how I was going to be doing an autumn clothing favourites or like basically things that I'm wearing this autumn that I'm absolutely loving. Some of it is new and some of it is just stuff that I've been wearing a lot. So yeah, I wanted to show you some of the things I'm just, yeah, mad about this autumn and how I'm gonna be styling things. So let's go straight in. So first of all, one of my favorite things that I purchased recently that I've been wearing a lot is this shirt. Now I'm gonna have to take my jumper off, but please forgive the only reason why I ended up putting this jumper on, which I really like this look, by the way, like pulling the collar out and wearing it on top of like a colored jumper. There is a little pasta stain on here. And I thought people might not notice, but if I notice it in the video, I'll be annoyed. But I'm gonna take this off and you're just gonna have to endure the, endure the little pasta stain. But this is this collared uh, gingham puff sleeve shirt that I got, which is cropped, slightly cropped, which I really love. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of tucking in things into my jeans, into my skirt. And sometimes, sometimes you just get a little bit extra baggage that you don't really want and it can look lumpy and a bit ugh. Whereas this, cause it's already cropped, it just sort of sits like there on me and I can tuck it in if I want to, but I won't get like a bulge. Ooh. Ah, an, an invisible dagger just poked me in the eye. Ouchie. Maybe it's the tiny poltergeist in here. And I am a big fan of these gingham or uh, checked shirts which have a little bit of pluff and a bit of collar because these are so versatile. You can wear these obviously outside of a jumper but also layering it with sort of other things like waistcoats and jackets. Like I wore this with a jacket the other day and I pulled the collar out again and it just gave it a really fun, frilly, textured, layered look. Uh, so big fan of that. Big fan of this. So there's a brand called Lack of Color and they make the most amazing hats. And the hat of the season has got to be this, what do you call it, a Baker Boy? Baker Boy. A lot of people don't like the Baker Boy hats. It's a cap, isn't it? I fucking love this hat. It's made beautifully. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous quality. They're a little bit on the spenny side, but you get what you pay for because they are made beautifully. You can pick your size um, and they're such high quality. I love this because it gives me a real sort of, I love, it, it gives me a real sort of 70s sort of feel. Maybe even, maybe even a little slightly 60s, I don't know. It just gives me the nostalgic vintage feels, you know? And I love it, I love the color of it. I think they do it in black as well, but it's just a great accessory to have, especially when, you know, you feel like your, your outfit needs a little bit something or your hair might be a bit shit one day, so you just want to distract with a hat. Love this hat. As previously mentioned, um, a fan of a waistcoat or a sleeveless jacket. Now I, over the summer, I wore the shit out of my blue denim one. I also acquired a black denim one oversized from the Goldsmith Vintage. And this one I actually found under my bed and I was doing a clear out. And I was like, why have you been hiding from me? This one is a leather one that is also vintage. Vintage shops are great for this kind of stuff. Again, I love this. I wear it like this over the top. And again, if I've got my frilly shirt on the go. I can pull it out and wear it over the top like that for a nice layered look. And I just think it's good for adding a bit of shape, adding just another focal point. Again, I just love the layering. Um, they look lovely over t-shirts, over dresses, over long sleeve things. And it's just a little bit of an extra pizzazz, you know? Um, I love this leather, the leather look one, and I love my denim ones. But yeah, a waistcoat, ooh, plectrum. Claws, Josie's old band. That's so funny. <gasps> no way, I love finding shit in pockets and stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God, I found two vampire fangs. I must have wore this for Halloween or something. Uh, probably get tetanus or something, some disease. Fully on board with the waist jackets, waistcoat, sleeveless jackets, you name it. Yeah, so even this is a vibe now. Look, I've got a whole new outfit, yes. Uh, I've worn these quite a lot recently, but I'm a big fan of the corduroy. And I found a corduroy that isn't restricting. 
It's got these gorgeous monkey corduroy trousers. Hopefully I can find them in the, hopefully I can find them while they're still available. If not, I will link you to some similar ones. In this gorgeous orange, or gorgeous autumnal rusty orange. Again, the 70s vibes are going through the roof. So happy about that. And they fit really nice and they're so comfortable. And I think that they just, as someone that likes to kind of be sometimes safe with colours or dress in a lot of monochrome, I think these just add a real focal point to the, to the outfit. And they're quite bold. They're very cool. They're very retro. Huge fan. Huge, huge fan of these corduroy trousers. They're so much fun. And I just feel like I should join Led Zeppelin or something. In the same kind of material, speaking of corduroy, we're going to move swiftly on. Um, I, I picked up this wet this dress in a in a orange corduroy this is from reclaimed reclaimed vintage and it's a button-up dress with pockets we love pockets um so yes dresses which dresses and dungarees anything with like a strap where you, strappy arms which you can layer um and again i would wear this on top of a shirt on top of a band tee probably over a shirt or like a long sleeve high neck top like a roll neck with the long sleeves um i'd probably wear this with tights when it gets a bit chillier um but these with a knee length with some nice boots awesome and again i got this in this orange color just for a bit of pam autumn in your face going for them orangey tones it's warm it's cozy you know um i also because i really enjoyed wearing these from primark i picked up a leather version so i went into primark the other day uh, i picked up some jeans that i'm gonna be using for diy soon and I, I grabbed this as well and i thought that was a lot of fun this this is something that would probably i'd wear for something a little bit more formal if i was going out i wouldn't wear it on its own i'd definitely layer with this but if i was feeling a little bit more formal or a little bit more rock and roll a little bit or a little bit more golf one day uh definitely wear the leather version shackets shackets i've got a few shackets i've got more of a coaty shacket which is in a brushed brushed material which is check i've also got a brown suede one i've also got a leopard print one the one that i wear the most is a, a faux leather shacket i wear this thing all the time if i'm having like a bad outfit day or i don't know what to wear or I'm feeling like something's missing, this normally solves my problems. And it's good to wear really casually, but also if I'm sort of going out for drinks or for an occasion, like this just sort of ties it all together because, you know, the, the pleather, the faux leather, gives it that kind of put together vibe. But because it's a shacket and kind of boxy and baggy, it, 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 it's got a bit of chill there, you know? A little bit cool. I'm just describing how clothes make me feel in a very me way. So I'm hoping it's not too cringe, but this is what goes through my mind when I'm like picking outfits. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of smart because it's pleather, but it's got a, got a bit of chill. Shackets, if I'm just giving you buzzwords as well, like things to put in your search bar. So like shacket, um, sleeve lift jacket, or vest jacket, corduroy. You know, all these things. Another thing that's made a return for the season is plaid shirts. Obviously, these are like my favorite things to wear on a chill day or on a weekend. I get asked all the time where I get my plaid shirts from. Vintage shops, charity shops. Best place to find them because they're a little bit worn in. Phil bought a beautiful plaid shirt when we were in uh, Southwold the other week and he loves it because it was a bargain, but it's already like worn in. So he doesn't have to do any hard work, it's soft fits in really nicely and I'm the same I like to layer these on top of band t-shirts or a new favorite another favorite of mine I'll just slide right into I discovered these little tops from Stradivarius 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 is like one of my new favorite shops when I was in London that like a few weeks back I popped into the, the big one in um, Stratford Westfield and I was like well why have I never come in here before it's like H&M but better these ribbed sort of cropped vests. I mean, they might not be cropped, but they're definitely cropped on me, but they fit nicely. These rib tops, um, high neck. I've got them, I've got it in uh, this beige, but I've also got it in black, which I've misplaced. I'm gonna find it today when I put all my laundry away, but I might have to purchase online some of the other colors that they do. I think they do a white and a khaki and maybe a pink, and they're really cheap, and they're just a really good staple 
basic item to have to wear underneath plaid, underneath shirts, underneath band t-shirts, just for an extra layer, but also it's just, I just love my layering in these days. They're just nice. We'll wear them on their own with some jeans. Love it. And another must have of the season is knee high boots or like high boots, high boots, like whether it be Dot Martens or like this one. So I, re I do really want a pair of knee high boots, like non-laced ones. I saw some gorgeous, gorgeous snakeskin ones in office, but they did not go up my leg because I've got calves. So if you have got the chunky legs like myself, I'd recommend lace up ones. These ones have also got a zip. So you can loosen them up as loose as you need to go to fit perfectly. I think they're just nice. They're nice. They give that warm, cozy, winter is coming vibe. And the last thing that I want to rave about is this dress that I bought. It's a kimono wraparound dress. And just for the colours, I haven't taken the label out. I wore it for a meal out the other day and I have the label in it still. Oh, this is... This is a Topshop dress. Look how autumnal this looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Just a lovely wraparound dress in the kimono fit. And I just love this retro, these retro colors and print. It's very much my vibe these days. I hate the word vibe, but what other word is there than vibe that gets, portrays what I mean? That's a gorgeous dress. Um, so that is my little mini, that is my little autumn capsule of the things that I love and I'm wearing over and over and over again. I uh, hope you liked it. I will link down everything in the description as where possible. If I can't find the exact thing, there will be an alternative. Um, but let me know in the comments your current favourite thing to be wearing in the season. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.